Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I've got another autumn haul for you and it's basically stuff from Topshop and under other stories. I feel like I hadn't ordered from Topshop in quite a while. I'm not gonna lie, there wasn't loads that I wanted, but there were a few pieces. And then whilst I was on and other stories, there were a few pieces that really caught my eye. I really had to try and narrow it down because I feel like and other stories in the autumn is just like I really want everything, but it is a little bit of penny, so I managed to just pick a couple of things out. But yeah, I just thought I would share with you what I ordered and show you the trial clips. So if you'd like to see that, then please carry on watching. So I think I'm first gonna start off with Topshop as I think I got the most from there. And it's essentially just a lot of jumpers. However, I did pair them with some jeans, which I really wanted. So I basically ordered these straight high-waisted leg jeans as I really want a pair of straight leg jeans. And I feel like I order I've ordered so many pairs and I just can't find the right pair. I love the Topshop straight leg jeans, but I just can't seem to find my right size. I think I've ordered them in so many different sizes. So this pair I got in a 25 waist and 30 length. So I usually get my Jamie jeans in a 26 waist, 30 length, and that's fine. But for some reason with these straight leg jeans, it just doesn't seem to work because these were just so tight on me. I was like, I think I need a longer length. Uh, the waist was fine, but it's just the length of them, I think, because it was just really tight around an area. So, but that's a bit weird because I mean, that's the length I have in all my other Topshop jeans. I don't know whether to try again and order some more, but I really love the style of these and the color. I'm gonna have to send these back. But yeah, I'm basically pairing all these other jumpers with this pair of jeans. <laughs> so one jumper that I was a little bit disappointed with was this white cream kind of like waffly oversized knit and look at this like this pattern i just think is absolutely gorgeous like it's just so pretty i love the, like the huge turtleneck how oversized it is but i think online i just thought it looked soft i was like that looks really soft i can't wait to be all snuggled in it but it's not soft i don't know how you describe it but it's just not soft at all and I kind of, that's the whole idea, was I wanted like a really soft, snuggly jumper. And if I'm gonna be honest, I have some white roll neck jumpers, so I do think it looks beautiful and I love the pattern. This next one is a bit more like a cardigan, as I am sort of on a little hunt for like a really nice, like black cardigan that will just go with a lot of outfits. And oh my, this is so soft. This is the kind of snuggly soft that I wanted the other jumper to be. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love that it's just all plain black, quite basic. However, the sleeves are a little bit more poofy, like puff sleeves, which is the only thing I'm a bit like, I don't know. It is quite big and oversized and the fact that the shoulders are like quite puffed. It wasn't exactly the style that I was looking for. I don't know how I didn't really notice it online but it is really soft and snuggly. But yeah, it just wasn't exactly what I was picturing in my mind. Next up, we have this really cute, quite basic little mini camel jumper. I love the color of this so much. I think it's just, and I just think it's so nice. It's got a little like sort of balloon sleeves as well. I just think the color, it's soft, the fit, the shape is absolutely perfect. And I just think it's such a good basic just to wear like a pair of jeans leather leggings, anything. I'm trying to decide if I need this. I don't think I have anything in my wardrobe like this. I have quite a few like sort of tight long sleeve tops in this color, but I don't think I have like a thin jumper like this in this color. So I definitely think I might want to keep this because I just think I'll wear it so much. It will just go with so many different things. Next we have this little light gray knit and oh, this is so cute. Again, like the softest material. I'm obsessed. The only thing is I'm like, I've just kept, well, I'm, I'm literally, I'm literally wearing it. I've just kept this gray knit jumper from Monkey, from my Monkey haul. Do I need another one? Oh my God, though. Different shades of gray. Okay, now I am thinking I do need this. Okay, that is like a completely different shade of gray. Okay, I'm thinking I do need this. Like, and this isn't soft. This is like a, a chunky knit, whereas this is like a soft knit jumper. And it's just the perfect jumper. Like I said, it's just the softest and the snuggliest and I don't know what it is with me in grey at the moment but I'm just feeling grey and I'm not mad about it. I don't know what else to say about this apart from I'm pretty sure I'm keeping this. <laughs> Last but not least top wise 
I picked up this little like cream lace long sleeve top which oh, the colour of this and the lace I just think is so beautiful however I just sometimes feel like with tops like this from Topshop they can be a bit sheer and I'm just not sure what bra I'll be able to wear with this it is super cute I might have to see and play around with it and see how I could wear it I'm not too sure it is beautiful but like I don't know if you can see in the try on clip but I feel like my bra is so obvious underneath so I guess unless you're wearing a nude bra, which I mean it could be fine. And last but not least from Topshop, I got this light grey, super soft knitted jumper dress. I do really want some more like knitted, really warm jumper dresses. I don't really, I don't think I have any. No, I don't. I have two sort of knitted dresses that are quite thin, but I don't have any chunky jumper dresses. I love the colour of this. It's so, so soft. It's literally like the dress version of the grey jumper. And... The only thing I can't decide is if it's a bit too big on me. With Topshop, like kind of like jumper dresses, there was literally a small, medium, large. So there's not like a huge size variety, I guess. So I think it looks a little bit big on me. I'm not too sure if it's like drowning me a little bit in the try on clip. But at the same time with like a coat thrown over, I think this could look super cute. So I'm going to do and other stories now. You'll have to bear with me because I can't remember what items I wore with which. Hopefully it'll be fine. The first thing I got was this mock neck sweater. I think it's called their mock neck sweater <laughs> in warm beige. Okay, so when I did my first ever under the stories haul on my channel, like a sort of a review, first impressions, I'm pretty sure I ordered this. I don't know if in the exact colour, but I definitely ordered this. And it was definitely, you know, I talked about the knitwear being too itchy for me and I just, I really couldn't keep any of it because it was just too itchy on my skin. And I think the mock neck sweater was the one thing that I was like, it wasn't too bad, but I didn't end up keeping. So I thought I'd order it again and see, because I just remembered how much I loved the fit last time. Again, I can't remember if it was this exact color. It essentially looks like this. I don't know if those are balloon sleeves, like slightly maybe. It's just basically the perfect camel knit jumper. It's just perfect, like in every single way, and it's not even that expensive. When it comes to under the stories, they definitely have a lot more expensive items, but this isn't that bad. And the color of it is perfect. The shape of it is perfect. It's just perfect. There we go. And I tried it on this time, and honestly, it isn't, it isn't. Like, it, I mean, I wouldn't say it's not itchy at all, but it's, it's not bad at whatsoever. Like I know I could definitely wear this fine and not really care about it. But yeah, I'm thinking this one over the Topshop one currently. I mean, there's no point keeping both, but I definitely don't have anything like this where it's like a really nice beige knit that's not too chunky, but also just isn't a long sleeve top. I don't really have anything in between like this. Um, so I'm definitely thinking this one or the Topshop one. And this one just feels like a little bit better quality. And then with that, I paired this beautiful skirt, which looks like this. I don't know if it's going to show very well. Can you see the shape of that? How it literally goes in at the hips and down into like a little pencil skirt. The shape of this is so beautiful. And even the colour. I'm not saying these two pieces go together. I don't know if they do. I think it's a bit too much beige going on. But the shape of this, I can't deny, is beautiful. I don't know what it is, but I'm not in love with it. I don't know if it's, the material isn't my favourite. It's very thick and structured. It's the best way I can describe it. And also, it, because it is such a thick material, while it's at your waist, even though yes, it's like hugging you in and really like tight the waist, which is really nice and snug, it's still quite a lot of thick material to have at your waist, I think is the best way of describing it. I don't know. I mean, it's beautiful and it fit so well and I'm just not in love with it, you know? And I don't know, I think it just, when it comes to under the stories, because it is a little bit more premium, a bit, bit more expensive, a bit nicer quality. Like if I'm not obsessed with it, I'm not gonna keep it, if that makes sense. I then bought this little like knit uh, button cardigan. I think because I saw this in Freddie's haul, I think that's what made me really want this. It's absolutely adorable. Like look at this collar. Um, I love these sort of like polo knit vibes. It's adorable, but it is one of the knits from Under the Stories that is itchy on me. Like as soon as I put this on, I was like, uh, no. I was like, I would no way be able to wear this unless I had a whole like long sleeve top underneath. I don't want to keep something thinking, okay, but I have to wear something underneath it. 
I just feel like that it just really restricts how much I can wear that item. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I thought it looked so cute, but I just can't justify it because it's just, it just does not, my skin doesn't like it. <laughs> I now have two sort of like blazer slash jackets from Under the Stories and I really like both of them and I was really, oh, this sounds so bad, not that I was hoping I didn't like them but I was like okay, you know, I don't want to keep more than one of them, I can only keep one, let's hope I only just love one of them but I might like both. <laughs> the first one, which I feel like I've seen so many people buy and look hella cute in is this sort of like oversized white quilted jacket. I've really wanted something white and quilted because I just feel like it just looks so good. In fact, my bag that I got from Primark is white quilted and in my H&M haul, I ordered a white quilted skirt which was adorable, but it just wasn't the right fit. And so I just feel like I need something white and quilted in my wardrobe for this winter because I just, I'm obsessed with the look. I love it so much. Like it is super oversized. Can I make it work is the only thing. I just need to, again, this is just something that I need to style with a couple of outfits and see, but I absolutely love this and I feel like I don't have anything like this for the winter, like an oversized jacket that isn't really a coat. I have like a really fluffy hooded jacket from Zara and I have my denim jacket, which I wear more in the spring and the summer. But if we're not wanting, like if you're not wanting to wear a coat, I don't have many sort of jacket jackets. I think that's just my way of trying to convince me that I can keep it but I just think this is adorable and I really really like it. I just think it's so cute. It was like Josie or Freddie, he said like it looks like you're wearing your boyfriend's football jacket and I completely agree. <laughs> I'm sorry but yes I just keep referring to my other autumn hauls. So in my H&M haul I ordered a blazer very similar to this, fell in love with it, I've kept it. And I thought, oh, you know what? I've ordered one from And Other Stories as well. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna need that one because I love this one from H&M. But I tried this one on and it is different. Like, not hugely different, but it is. And I feel like this one gives me more like equestrian vibes. It literally makes me feel like I'm about to go horse riding or something. Um, I'm gonna actually show you the jacket. Um, so it looks like this. I absolutely love this. It's actually got a little bit of pink running through it, which when I first saw it, I was like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's very, very subtle. It's not something you like notice straight away, I don't think. It is, I don't know what you call this. You know, people say like breasted blazers. I mean, I don't know how people know what's what. I don't know the definition of that and all that blazer language. It's got like three buttons down the side. My H&M one has two, I think or one, not too sure. It's definitely got a bit more thickness to it than my H&M one. Maybe a little bit better quality. I mean, it's ridiculous. I do not need two houndstooth blazers, Charlotte. You just don't, especially when you got your H&M one for a third of the price of the end of the stories one. Again, I'm gonna compare it against my H&M one and see. I feel like this one is gonna end up being the one out of the two that goes back because I mean, I already have something so similar to it, even if I'm trying to convince myself that they're a little bit different. <laughs> so that's the end of my end of the stories and Topshop Autumn haul. And yeah, I feel like this one wasn't as destroying as my Primark Monkey and H&M one. I definitely kept way too much from that one. Whereas this one, I feel like I found a few pieces that I really like found a few that I didn't so it was a little bit more balanced <laughs> and yeah I will link as many descriptions down below as I can for you as always and I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in my next video bye